How's it going guys? I'm Soul Survivor 610 coming back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Retro 13 Class of 2002. Alright guys, so like always I'll start off with the box on this pair. It's pretty much just all gray. There's not really anything to it except for that one little red jump man and then it also says display right there because I went to the outlets and this was the last pair in the store. These are the shoes, obviously just black and yellow. Like I said, I got these at the outlet mall, like kind of near my house. So the store behind these where these are the class of 2002s, they are a Carmelo Anthony PE, uh, supposed to be made for his high school Oak Hill Academy. Um, I think he actually had this PE already made a few years ago, but then Jordan just decided to release it to the public. Uh, unfortunately, that never happened, and like all, it was either like all the pairs or most of them were scrapped, listed as B grade, and sent right to the outlets. So retail was originally 190 bucks on these, but because they all went to the outlets, I think retail probably was like 100. I know I paid 100 even for these. Like I said, super lucky. The last pair in the store, I actually took them off the mannequin's feet. That's why it says display. Um, on the box. So I'll go over the shoes, I'll start from the, the outsole, work my way to the top, give you guys my opinions on the materials and colors used, and then I'll give you guys an on foot look. Alright, so starting off at the bottom of these shoes, you just have red, yellow, black, kind of all thrown on there. The traction pods, as you can see, are red. The cat's eye is also red. It's a little bit glazed over just because it's been in the box for so long, but these are still dead stock. I really like Oak Hill Academy colors. I think that the outsole looks pretty neat. And then we'll work our way up to the midsole. So looking at the midsole, you have your black rubber pods right there all along the side. And the outsole on the very bottom is yellow. So I think that's a really nice contrast of your yellow midsole right here, black outsole, and then yellow outsole. Kind of sandwiches it all in together. But the material used on your midsole is kind of just what every 13 has. It's like a short hair suede, long hair suede. I forget which one it is. It's one of those. It's kind of nice. You know, it's pretty basic. I guess for a B grade, it's not bad. The one thing with these is all the shoes are considered B grade. So it's like, I'm not 100% sure what is on this shoe that made it a B grade. What was it that they messed up on this shoe to scrap it? Now, my two opinions on that are, one, right here where the ankle is, there is a little red mark where a little like lace hole is, and then the most noticeable one that I've seen would be right on the tongue. There's just like a white mark that goes right down the middle where the jump man is. Honestly, not a big deal at all. You can't really see it, but I know that they have to have high standards for what they release in store, so that could be the case of why they were scrapped. Maybe it's just that way on all theirs. If you guys have a pair of these and you know what the defect is, drop a comment below and let me know. Again, working our way up. Now we have these mid panels. So the interesting thing with these is, on a lot of 13s, it's usually like leather or you have this weird like mesh material. So the mesh material you got on like the, I'll just show you. So this is the mesh material I'm talking about. It's on um, bread 13s, but I only have the Chris Paul. So I'll just show you my pair. So this is pretty common on 13s that are black. And then another common thing is just tumbled leather. So like I said, this is another common material used, just leather all around on 13s. Now what makes this pair really interesting is the material used is neither of those. It's like, if you guys watched my video on the Retro 12 friends and families that I have, the material used right here is like the exact same material used on that pair. I said it was like kind of like canvassy. It's not like Vans or chucks, it's a lot smoother than that. It almost feels like something that like North Face would put on their jacket. I actually think it's really cool, it's unique. I've never seen this on another pair of 13s. And also, it doesn't look like it would be prone to creasing, and I hate creasing on shoes. Going from this midsection, we'll go right to the toe box. So the toe box is kind of just your average like tumbled leather black. I really like it because it's matte black. I think it goes well with the rest of the shoe. There's not really any materials on the shoe that are really shiny or glossy, so that was definitely a cool addition. It's definitely gonna crease, because um, even though it's like tumbled leather, it's like smooth tumbled leather, it's just, it's crap quality to be honest, but the shoes were $100 and they're B-grades, so you 
you can't really complain. Going up even more, we'll talk about right where the laces are. You have your little Jordan sign right there at the bottom. You have just your average black rope laces. They go all the way to the top. And then the material used on the tongue is the same that is used on the toe, except there's obviously some you know, cushion and padding in the tongue. And it actually makes it really, really nice. The leather is really smooth. It goes back and forth with your fingers, no creases. It actually feels like high you know, quality leather on the tongue, even though it's not. And then you have your red jump man right there. So I'll go ahead and take out the insoles for you guys, show you why they are called the class of 2002. I'm just kidding, I actually can't take these out. These are glued in, so I will just give you guys a better shot of the inside. And then lastly, you have just your cat's eye right there. Every 13 has one. I don't know if they change colors, like if different pairs of 13s have different color cat's eyes, but there you go, your average cat's eye. So that's kind of the whole shoe. It's not really much to it, it's just a GR colorway. The only interesting thing about it was that it was scrapped. Surprising enough to me, just because it wasn't in stores, I thought that the resale was actually gonna go up because I'm pretty sure you could only get them in person at like outlet stores and stuff like that. But resale did not hit. Last time I checked, they were like a hundred bucks, $110. So they're still under retail. All in all, I've said this in many of my videos, I think 13s have some of the best colorways on Jordans. I think black and yellow is just an undefeated colorway, especially in Jordans. So I wasn't even looking for these at the outlet. As soon as I saw them, I bought them immediately just because they're 13s with an awesome colorway. And the materials used aren't really that bad. Now that I've given you guys a quick review of the shoe, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys an on-foot look so you can see what they look like. And then I'll wrap up the video. Big maker.